They'll fire from outside. But the Wildcats are once again on a roll. So bring it on. College basketball welcomes you to one of the great scenes in college basketball. This is one of the most storied programs in the country, Kentucky. And it was back in 48, the Fabulous Five, under Coach Rupp, put the show on the road here when they won not only a national championship, but also an Olympic gold medal. Wawa Jones, Rosa, and Beard, just some of the great names. And today, it'll be Kentucky against Florida. But first, let's send you to John Saunders in New York. Welcome, everybody, to the land of the bluegrass, thoroughbred horses, and college basketball. That's on everybody's mind. Welcome, everybody. I'm Brent Musburger. Well, they were very concerned here. What would happen to this great Kentucky program without Rick Pitino? He went off to the NBA, and along came Tubby Smith. This team has not lost since the calendar turn. They've won nine in a year after being upset by Louisville right here. One man turned it around on the floor. There he is, Najee Muhammad, their center, and my partner Dick Vidal knows exactly how valuable Muhammad has been to the Wildcats. Well, you know, Tubby Ball's been outstanding. Winning experience is what he has. He's got a team that's very deep, and Najee Muhammad, certainly the most improved player in America. He arrived here as a project under Rick Pitino, and now he's become one of the star post players in the SEC. Speaking about the SEC, we got Florida. That means Jason Williams. That means Flair. That means a guy that can be sensational, or he can throw the ball in the third row. The kid is unbelievable. And I'll tell you something else, Brent. The bottom line is they can shoot the trifecta. They lead the nation, making 10 per game. Billy Ball versus Tubby Ball. Oh, who are we going to see? The good Jason or the bad Jason? We'll find out on ABC in just a moment. Payne Weber College Basketball on ABC and Raycom Sports. Brought to you by Payne Weber. When you invest with Payne Weber, you invest with more intelligence. MCI Five Cent Sundays. Pay the least on the day you call the most. Toyota. Every day belongs to you. Make it count. Toyota. Every day. And State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Orlando! Welcome back to Story to Rupp Arena in Lexington, Kentucky. And let's meet our... Toyota starting lineups for the home team. Muhammad, who leads the Southeastern Conference with 65% from the field. The starting five. Now, for the visiting Florida Gators, Jason Williams. And here's a young man who was benched at Arkansas. He refused to join the team huddle, so Donovan suspended him for a game. And according to the player, who's been very contrite, it is the best thing the coach could have done in this situation. And since Jason returned to the lineup, he's been averaging 16.7 points a game, and he's been handing out 6.7 assists for the Gators. He's very flashy. You can look at all the tattoos. He's got three of them. Told me before the game, he played with Randy Moss in high school down at Bell High School in West Virginia. In one game this year, he had 12 turnovers against Florida State and a two-point loss. But he also has been very brilliant in his performances against people like against Vanderbilt. As you look at Tubby Smith. Seventh season overall. If you go back into the record book and take a look at his record at Tulsa and then a quick turnaround at Georgia, you knew that this man could coach, and now he's running one of the most storied programs in the country. One of 17 children, Tubby Smith, one of his own children. A young man by the name of T.G. down in Georgia's the point guard down in Athens, and we're ready to go. Kentucky in the home whites. He's got his son, Saul Smith, sitting on a bench, who also comes in and backs up Wayne Turner. Knocked away from Turner and out of bounds. Hey, Brent, if you can win at Tulsa and if you can win at Georgia, you certainly can win at Kentucky where all the resources are available. This is one of the great basketball environments in all of college basketball. 
Padgett handles the ball. He'll shoot it outside or in. He's been a very key man here since the calendar turn for the Wildcats. Very smart player. Turner runs the floor. Five tries to seize the baseline. Knocked away by Williams and out of bounds. Kentucky basketball. Good matchup with Shannon versus of Wing Turner. You got superb quickness. Shannon, an outstanding athlete from out of West Palm Beach, Florida. Great vertical jump. Muhammad all out of bounds. Florida coming in off a tough loss. They were up 12 on South Carolina. Got beat on a tip-in by Antonio Grant. What about that win today? 25 down, and they come back and beat Cincinnati, Eddie Fogler. Same hero, Antonio Grant nails a three. Can you believe it? Two wow. buzzer beaters for Eddie Fogler in South Carolina in the last week. I don't think you have to look far for the SEC Player of the Week, huh? I'll tell you one thing, Brent. That's the difference between a good year and a bad year. Muhammad, the key man. First deuce, wide open underneath. Well, they did a great job. Special situation. Had a nice screen. Look at this kid Here's handle the Williams ball. Williams now coming up with the first time he has touched the ball today. Averaging six assists a game. Turns the ball over a little too much. That's what he has to work on. Understanding a bad shot and a bad pass. Shannon. He'll step out and shoot that 3-2. Now here comes Williams with the first tray of the game and right on the money. I tell you, he's got that nice stroke. Grant, he squared his body. He's got that great release. Had a big performance in the first half against Vanderbilt. 15 at halftime, and they beat a good Vanderbilt team. Nothing calms a young team any quicker than a couple of threes on the road. Crowd a little quiet now. Loose ball. Pick it up. Here comes Williams, and they've got numbers. Four on one. Oh, no luck. Oh, pass. Oh, oh, baby, what a pass that was. No look, baby. All of the magic man. He looks right, and he kicks it left. Showtime. And Kenyon Weeks buried the two. <laughs> Illegal screen called on the interior. Take a look at this. We see a mini version of Pistol P. Look at him look one way, make the great drop, bounce pass, and here's Weeks finishing it off. Weeks is one of the top three-point shooters in America. I gotta get some of those tattoos on you. I think you'd look great with those tattoos in your bathing suit. <laughs> oh, look at Wade Turner's got a tough job handling this guy. Gives it back to Stolt. Outside the three, here it comes. Missed this time. Offensive rebound. So it's two and out for the Gators. Maddox, a real hard worker on the inside, came down with the offensive rebound. Turner has it stripped. They're going to shoot the three, Brent. They lead the nation, making better than 10 a game. Had 15 in a win over Vanderbilt. Great quickness comes to the baseline. Good looking pass. Oh, and again, it is number 52, Kenyon Weeks, his second field goal. Kenyon Weeks showed his ability more than just a three point shooter. Fans, it's the quickest way to get the fans out of the game. Get that good early start. Now Edwards gets it back inside to Muhammad, who is fouled and will be shooting free throws. Look at this here, the Gunning Gators right now leading the NCAA, making 10.6 threes per game. Wow. In fact, you ready for this? They made 17 in a game this year and lost to Arkansas. Made 18 last year, which was the school record against Robert Morris. So they're really following Billy Ball, who played for Rick Pitino, protege of Rick Pitino when he played for him down at, uh, played with him at Providence. A sluggish start for the Wildcats. They jumped out 2-0. They've given up at seven unanswered points. Look at this here. They were on the same coaching staff together. And you know who else was on that coaching staff? Two other fair guys. But I know Ralph Woolard of Pittsburgh and Herb Sendick of North Carolina State, who had a big win yesterday over Clemson. So, Nazi Muhammad with all three of Kentucky's points here in the early going. Jeff Shepard now matched up with Shannon. Stoltz, a guy that can step out and shoot the three. Misses this time. Rebound, Muhammad. Rebounding has certainly been a big problem for Florida. Not a really good rebounding team. Jump ball. Possession aerial. Arrow sends it on over to the Gators. Four turnovers. Tubby Smith's team is third in the nation, plus 10.7 margin in rebounding. They've only been out-rebounded once, and that was their last game against Vanderbilt. Billy Donovan really concerned about the glass. Well, here comes the young man. Everybody's watching. Williams gives it up. Got to go Turner playing him. 
They're looking Shannon at Oosters. waits. They're and looking at Williams a spot up. Around. They want to spot up for that three, Brent. No, that drive for the deuce and no basket on the follow. The whistle sounded before, and the offensive foul is going to be called. You know, Billy Ball is really going to be exciting down at Gator Country with the great recruits. As you take a look here at the rebound margin, you look at Kentucky leading the SEC, and you look at Florida, they're 11th in the conference, so that can be big. The one equalizer, though, is if you make the three, you negate that rebounding advantage. Shepard steps out. in and Muhammad being fronted and now the steal by Shannon uh -oh. goes for the glass underneath wrap around basket nice reverse layup he's got a vertical jump of about 41 inches this is a great start for Florida they were up 12 on South Carolina in the second half and lost and hey, this looks like yesterday Wake Forest in North Carolina except that Florida get a little more done on the inside than we expected there's an early story and the reason why nice drive beautiful drive by that would be that nice drive. He played at Miami Senior High School. In fact, they got a freshman who will be seeing some action here by the name of Wright who played with him in high school down at Miami Senior. There's that ball movement. A good motion by Billy. Here's Williams left-handed dribble comes to the glass for the layup. That's a big-time play. He's got a lot of stuff, baby. This kid is for real. He just has to make sure he controls his attitude. His dad summarized it best. He said, my son could either be all SEC or he'll be all 7-Eleven. Edwards holds it on the outside. Now he penetrates off the dribble, kicks it, catch it. Here's the three. That inside-outside game, but... Padgett missed the shot, and now Williams comes right back down, keeping pressure on the Kentucky defense, and here's Shannon. He's we have a timeout. We've got a timeout. A very good start by the Gators. They lead favored Kentucky 11-5. Coach Billy Donovan's second season with Florida. Remember, he was the head coach at Marshall. And I want to tell you, Dick, you and I live in Florida. I've never seen so much excitement over recruits coming to a basketball program in the state of Florida. Normally, it's over football players. But next year, Teddy DuPay, Ladarius Halton, Mike Miller, Sylvan Robinson, and Udonis Haslam, those last two from Miami Senior, have all signed on. The best is still ahead of Donovan. I'll tell you the one thing. You're right. They're creating so much excitement. DuPay the other day broke his Chris Corciani's all-time record in the state of Florida. Over 3,400 points. And the other kid you mentioned, Holton, got 76 in one game. And Michael <laughs> Miller is super. Everybody wanted him from South Dakota. Round the perimeter. Here comes Shannon. And step. There's an offensive foul. It's going to be called by Hess. Incidentally, Carl Hess, the official who made that call, was forced into emergency duty here because Andre Patillo suffered a leg injury yesterday. Carl Hess was with us yesterday at Winston-Salem, and he received a phone call in the locker room following our game, and he said, would you come over to Lexington? So he's working today with Gene Manji and Ted Hillary. Got a good crew on this game. The three of them, very experienced officials. Going to some trapping right now. You'll open up shots if you go to the trap. They did that time as Muhammad... McClure is in. I like this kid. I like this kid. Achimo Evans from out of New York City. He's a street fighter. He's one of the premier six men in basketball, Brent. Was it Manhattan? Transferred down here to Kentucky. The only left-hander on this year's Wildcat team. And Jason comes back. Wow! And his second three of the game. He shot that from downtown Louisville. I can't believe Jason Williams. What a great start. Mills colliding with Najee on the pass down the floor as the Gators lead it behind Donovan's leadership, 14-7. This reminds me so much, not of Kentucky when I watch Florida, it reminds me of Providence. Yeah, take a look right there. There he is letting it fly from downtown, Jason Williams, who originally signed with Providence when Rick Barnes was there. And then he decided that he wasn't going to go when Barnes went to Clemson and started his career at Marshall, played for one year there, and then transferred with Billy Donovan, who's going to create all kinds of excitement. Move over, Steve Spurrier. Here comes Donovan. Mills kicks it back on out to Turner. Basketball's going to become king down of Florida. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> on that shot. Long pass. Picked up at the other end by Williams. 
and they've turned it over. I'll tell you one thing, Billy Donovan learned how to dress also from Mr. Patino, who was the Frank Sinatra, the entrepreneur in the coaching fraternity. He's passed out some good ones in Tubby Smith and Billy Donovan. Now trying to work his magic with the Boston Celtics. They've already won more games this year than they did all of last year. Doing a great job. He's got 20 wins already. Did a great job here. That defense tech, they're forced into calling a timeout. They couldn't get the ball inbounds. And you know what's amazing? If Mercer and also Walker had stayed in school, they'd still be eligible. Can you imagine Mercer and Walker with this team? Wow. Give the trophy. It would be over, baby. Rick might not have left. <laughs> Next Saturday, Payne Weber College Basketball. We've got Cincinnati at UNC Charlotte, UCLA at Oregon State, so regional coverage at 3.30 Eastern time here on ABC. Hey, Brad, I had a chance today, and I, I fell in love, you know. I went to the barn, Cleveland Barn. The guy, Buck, took me around. It was really great. I got a chance to hug. You ready for this? Go for Gin, a 1994 Kentucky Derby winner. I got a chance Go to for hug. Go for Gin. Paid over $9. Unbridled. Up there unbridled, <laughs> I hugged. Oh, and another. You were all over those winners today, kid. Mr. Prospector, the oh, greatest yeah. stallion of them all. It is that. Tubby well, Smith. we see that Saul Smith checks in and... Uh, Shot missed after the timeout. And here is Saul. Whips it over to the left-hand side. And this time, Evans missed. Getting one shot right now. They're doing a good job neutralizing the great rebounding power of Kentucky, Florida. Double O right attacks the glass. And the foul called against Kentucky. Wright is the young man that played at Miami Senior High School where Alan Edwards played and where those two kids you mentioned earlier are coming from, Haslam and Silver and Robinson. Tubby not happy with the start so far. Coaching his son, Sal, and his other son plays right now. Gigi, as you said earlier, for Georgia. Georgia's got to be one of the real disappointing stories this year. I feel so bad for Ron Jersa. They lost so many close games early, and they lost their confidence. Hey, that's Donna. Hey, that's Donna. Yeah, that's real. Orlando Tubby Smith's wife. She probably has a little difficulty, eh, when Georgia plays Kentucky. <laughs> I did that game. Shannon will be at the line. Florida really playing well right now. They really got that bounce to their game. Florida looks a little lethargic. They look that way in a warm-up. You and I again. Kentucky, you mean. Kentucky, like. rather. We talked about it before the game. It was unbelievable how they looked so flat during their warm-ups. How'd Mr. Prospector look? Oh, beautiful. I'll tell you one thing. 28 years of age. And he's booked for the breeding season, they told me, at 175,000. No guarantee full. That's unbelievable. <laughs> Shannon with the free throw. There's nothing like going out to Claiborne Farm. Oh, Seth Hancock has a beautiful place. After the second miss, this is Edwards trying to get into the scoring column, and they've turned it over again. Kentucky really struggling. Florida's got to really make them pay for this early struggle. Kentucky's been able to win all the close games, though. If it gets close, Florida's found a way to lose close games, and Kentucky has found a way to win them. As you look at the turnovers early, 2-1 to one ratio, Kentucky versus Florida. Dan Williams drops it in on the inside. Williams a good shooter from the perimeter, Dan Williams. Good three-point shooter. Out of bounds, and it is Kentucky basketball. Williams a great story, a walk-on. They gave him a scholarship this year. He's from Florida. Look at his sunshine on his shoulder. I'm going to get one of those. I live in Florida. You live in Florida. We're going to get a sunshine tattoo. Oh, there's the trap for the diagonal pass. Well, Coach, kick oh, it in. Wide yes, open the floor for an easy deuce. Can't trap them. There's no way in the world you can trap this Kentucky team. They handle the ball really well. They're well coached. I would stay away from the trap and play them head-to-head. Najee's a kid. They feel he's going to become a heck of a player. He's very limited in his experience as a basketball player. Right. Guns a three for the Gators. And remember, they lead the nation in making threes, making better than 10 a game. And they've put three down today, one by Wright and two by Jason Williams. They've only missed one, and right at the other end, Jeff number Shepard. 15, Jeff Shepard, with the first field goal by a guard for Kentucky today. Shepard really played big against Vanderbilt, got 20, started off slowly, was 0 for 4, and then he went 4 for 8 from three-point range. Now the rebounding edge starting to exert itself. It's 18-11. The Gators will try to put field goals together. 
Shea can rotate two people on the inside with McGlure and Nazi Muhammad. Smith's three misses. Shannon, who can sky with that vertical leap, brings it down. Nice pass. Great pass to right. Great block, but there is a blocking foul going to be called against Kentucky. McGlure went up high. Shannon did a great job with that little look on the interior. First in the team's fourth. Take a look at right now. Eddie Shannon, here he is in transition. Smith tries to stop the progress of the ball, drops the bounce pass. There's the rotation with the block, but the contact is on him. See, Kentucky's team this year, Brent, you and I were talking, they are very good and very solid at every position where they're different from the past in 96 and 97. Think of those years. They had five guys that are playing in the NBA who are first-round draft choices. I mean, we're talking Delk, McCarty, Walker, Mercer, and Anderson, who's been sensational for Cleveland until he just had a sprained knee uh, ligament. I can't think of many colleges that would have had five NBA first-rounders on their roster at one time. And Brent Wright is two of two at the free throw line. He's come off the bench to score five. Tubby Smith here in Lexington. It's a family affair for the Wildcats, but they trail right now 20 to 11. Well, here's the story that Dick told you about. Unfortunately, there's news about Derek Anderson, the former Kentucky star, sprained a knee again. He's going to miss six to eight weeks with Cleveland with a partial ligament tear. The good news is he will not have to undergo surgery this time. Was picked for the rookie game next week in New York at the NBA All-Star festivities. Dick, I'm sure he'll come along and watch, but that's, uh, that's too bad for Derek. I'll tell you one thing. Yeah, with Derek, he's had such bad luck with his knees. He had both knees operated on, and he's been such a solid player for Mike Fratello, who also has another great rookie in Brevin Knight. Common denominator, they both went to college four years. That pass right with the interception. Saw the three-point line there, three for four for Florida, shooting 75%. Jason Williams back on the floor. Quick movement at the perimeter for the Gators. They really are well coached. They move the ball so well. They just have to learn how to win close games. Right double team, Muhammad coming from behind. I talk about winning close games, Brad. They lost 83-81. They've lost a tough game. That's Florida State. They lost 89-84 to Arkansas. 85-82 at Texas. 84-83 South Carolina. You've got to win those close games to get some confidence. They're 0 for 4 now versus the teams in the top 25. Two of the losses you see at the buzzer. From the corner off, and it's Turner rebound. Outlet pass. Edwards in the paint. And Stolt got a hand on the ball. Beautiful defense at this other end by the Gators. One of the things that impresses me about Florida in this game is the defense they're playing. I knew that they had some three-point strokers, but Donovan's team working very hard defensively. Especially a defense transition, which is a must against Kentucky. you got to get back and protect against that running game, that transition game. And Jason drew the foul on the dribble. Second on Shepard. Dick, as you take a look at the shooting percentages, Florida getting away at a little over 50 percent and Kentucky down at 42 percent and they have not made a three-point basket in this game yet well you know Kentucky's had a problem if it's had a problem anytime you lose two games I don't know how we can say they have a problem but the concern has been consistent shooting at a basketball rebounding has been a positive all year for them other than the game against Vanderbilt the story in the early going the impressive play by the Gators and this kid here has done a heck of a job Jason Williams he hasn't taken any bad shots Cannon can elevate Tap back, no. Right back. Block Muhammad again underneath. Great block, his second of the game. Nazi Muhammad's a young man who lost 60 pounds to make himself a player. He was an all-airport candidate who's made himself all SEC. Florida, this will be a 22nd timeout. 22nd timeout. I think there's some good quality teams in the SEC. As you see, Shannon trying to get that little layup, that slide and glide move. And there's the rejection by Nazi Muhammad. There's Shannon trying to battle the big guys on the interior. You look at that conference, Arkansas, very good. Nola Richardson Club. Well, tomorrow night on ABC, America's Funniest Home Videos, videos followed by an all-new 2020. And then the practice, and that starts at 8 Eastern time on ABC. Hey, you tell me you know Jack Nicholson. You're going to get me an autograph. Do you know Barbara <laughs> Walters? Do you know Barbara? Really? You can help I, me? You know, I find it amazing I that I've met Barbara. anybody you don't know. <laughs> 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 oh, it's been fun traveling. I'll tell you what, you had to reach in your pocket and pay for the meal last oh, night. Yeah, 
Nine rebounds versus eight, so the plane of even on a glass, and that's a big concern of Florida. Jason finds Stolt open. Stolt's got to get free for some jump shots. He yes, can he really does. shoot the shot. Shannon, beautiful move, Dick, inside for the layup for Shannon, and Shannon with five points. He's much more comfortable at the second guard slot. He's got great quickness to the basket, and he's Shannon. Well, Kentucky will try to solve this defense and get something going. That's the coach's son here, Smith, can light a fire. they got to get a little bit more movement offensively, get more player movement aboard. They are attacking. Jason with a great intercept. Got open oh, what a look. Got and knocked away from Horton. Smith with a good steal for the Wildcats. What a great look by Williams. I'll tell you, he's got great vision. Open three. Yes, it is Turner with the first three for Kentucky. And he's not a big-time shooter from long range. That's one of his negatives, even though he's worked on improving in that area. And he brought the crowd into the game. Here come the Rupp faithful. That was a big turnaround, Dick. It looked like Horton had an easy deuce for the Gators. Five-point turnaround. Stolt from the perimeter. He hits a three at the other end. We just said he's got to get free for that jump shot. He's also all academic, a great student as well. He's been a really improved player, Greg Stolt, from his freshman year. Last year came on strong. Double team a little too tight on Padgett. I'll tell you, Mom is active over here on the sidelines, too. Look at her. She wants a coach. Look, she said, come get on, Get that come spacing on. better. Yeah, get she's that spacing. She's been listening to you. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. She's got to get that spacing. Yeah, it, uh, <laughs> she knows her hoops. George Felton sitting next to Tubby Smith was the head coach in South Carolina. Great human interest story. Tubby Smith was an assistant to George Felton. Loyalty brought him back. So when I get fired eventually, you're going to hire me back Absolutely. to work. Absolutely. Now the Gators come back down and again rebounding so key Maddox with a strong one anytime they can get a rebound away from Kentucky it's Gator advantage in this one. Yeah don't allow him second or third opportunities. Williams with that beautiful quickness now Jason with eight points. I'll tell you Brett I've been really impressed with him. I am really impressed with his talent. He has shown us he can shoot from deep. He has shown us he can pass and he showed us he can drive with the basketball. Remember the suspension turned him turned him around. Turner gets oh, it inside. Paget comes up on Stolt and Stolt fouls him. He'll be shooting too. Paget's been really quiet so far. It's been the Jason Williams show. As you look at Tubby, you know that is the third foul. Look at that. number 24. Greg Stolt unhappy about that over on the sideline. And there is the Tubby Smith file as you take a look back. What a resume! Tremendous resume. Replacing the legend, Mr. Patino. Now, as we said, down here, up to next to Joby Hall, who won that national championship in 78. Adolf Rupp, four national titles. Well, Padgett's first point of the game, game comes to the free throw line. Scott Padgett's been a solid player. Gave his eligibility last year. Gave him a lot of basketball. Went to that last game last year, where they lost that tough overtime game to Arizona for the national title. I still like Arizona to the Final Four. I love mm -hmm. Bibby, Simon, and Dickerson. They just know how to win. Tough kids had a big win over Stanford. And the shocker of the day yesterday, Arizona State beating Stanford. Stanford losing twice this week. They figured a fall, so Kentucky could move into the top six. But right now, they got their hands full with these Gators. Foul called on Turner on the shot by Weeks. I like the leadership. I'm watching Jason Williams and the communication with Billy Donovan. You're right, Brent. Maybe that suspension woke him up. In fact, he shot poorly against Georgia in a win, and they said he wasn't part of the team huddle, wasn't part of the whole sequence after the game, shaking hands with the other team, was moping and sulking, and they said, hey, time to sit down until you grow up. Well, a reminder that coming up next on ABC Sports, it's the annual Pro Bowl from Hawaii, AFC, NFC. Who's who of the NFL? That's next on ABC, and Weeks makes both of his free throws. You know, against, Span against South Carolina, Florida had, they had 22 offensive rebounds, South Carolina against Florida. That's not happening here today. They're doing a good job neutralizing Kentucky's rebound. Magic gets pushed. Interception, Williams will go for the two. Got it. What hasn't he done, Brent? What hasn't he done? He has lived up to every description we have heard. I have heard Larry Conley talk about him a great deal, and Larry knows his hoops, and he speaks very highly of him. That kid is flat out a PT beer. He can play. 
12 points already against Kentucky and a lot of touches defensively. He anticipates as well as any player we've seen this year, Dick. I tell you, his anticipation, ability, and passing the basketball, not only defensively, he seems to be one step ahead. I mean, take a look at this play right here. His head's up, great vision. He has good hang time. Lays hate, it on the glass. I hate to, see, to say this, but you mentioned it to me, and I'll tell you, he does remind you just a little bit of Pistol Pete when he comes down the floor. He's got that flair. He's got that flair of a Pistol Pete. He's certainly not a Pistol Pete. We want people to say we're yeah, exactly. comparing him because Pistol Pete was so unique and so special. But he's a mini, mini version of that in the way he handles himself. There's Alan Edwards. There was a kid at Ole Miss that had a lot of flair at one time, a great scorer, Johnny Newman. Oh, yeah. Remember Newman? Yeah, he he could for, fill it up. He went for about 40 a game. Ole Miss got a solid program. Rob Evans doing a great job. Lost a heartbreaker yesterday, but still only have four L's. How about Hot Rod Hundley? Yeah, he was flashy. I can't wait to go to Mountaineer Country. I'm going down there for a Connecticut game. I've been, been there to see Gail Catlett and company. Great fans there like they are here, here at Lexington. Parker seeing his first playing time today. And now the shot clock's down to five, and Shannon's going to have to hurry. Someone's got a call to him. Penetrate, pull up. Didn't get the bounce. Kentucky basketball. Shannon did a great job getting into the gut of the defense, and he does that well. See, they're not moving, Kentucky. They're standing. They're standing. Pass to Padgett, who drew the foul from Parker, and he'll come to the free throw line. I'll tell you, they got to wake up, but they're going to put themselves in deep, deep trouble and maybe not be able to get back like we saw Carolina come back yesterday. Florida's done a great job taking this crowd out. This is one of the great environments in college basketball, so one of my favorites. Yeah, this is one of the fine places to come visit and see a college basketball game. There are several in the country. The Cameron, of course. Oh, I love Cameron. I love North Carolina. It's got that mystique to it. The Dean Dole. Certainly Bloomington when the general struts out. I love that scenario. I, I love Arizona now that they're playing. Oh, I love Arizona. Arizona. The Ed Adam McDale Center is a special place as well. Kansas with Rock Jordan Jaywalks. Always one of my favorite places to go to as well. Magic misses his second one, but gets it back. And then turns it over and gets a hand on it and gets it back for the Wildcats. And here's Evans, the left-hander. It'll be Mills for the three. Out of bounds, Florida. The kid that can make it happen for Kentucky is Evans. We're going to take a break. It's 31-17, the Gators. Payne Weber believes that the best investment is an investment in education. And today they salute Dan Williams as a scholar athlete of the game. They congratulate him. Payne Weber recognizes that commitment to education with a $1,000 donation to the University of Florida for ongoing research. Payne Weber, you cannot lose with an investment in the future. You know, it's a great story as well with Dan. An outstanding three-point shooter is that he's a walk-on who now has been earning and earned a scholarship. He's got that sunshine, and I know brings a real shine to his face when he gets all those A's. Greg Stolt also is all academic. So let me get this straight. We've got five tattoos between the two Williams who are not related, right? Exactly. Unbelievable. Five tattoos. Turner keeps it outside now. This is Mills. Mills can shoot the three. Averaged 11 points a game in a run last year in the NCAA. Quick move inside, and he kisses the glass. He can shoot the basketball, man. He walked in with us today. You and I, we walked in, and we were teasing him. and said, hey, not get as much PT. He said, well, right now they don't need me as much. Kentucky struggling about 40% shooting in Florida at 48% in the early going, and rack up another one. This time, Obi Naji with the first field goal for him. Obi Naji inside gets that deuce. Here's a kid that didn't play a lot of basketball early in his career. Soccer. Padgett comes back at the other end. Naji comes out of Orlando. He eventually is going to be a heck of a player. He's a kid very inexperienced in basketball. Played limited high school basketball in Orlando, Florida. Shot blocker. The zone in now. See, they're trying to take it to a half-court trap. Pretty tough to zone them the way they shoot the three. They get into gaps of that three. Here's a stat that'll blow your mind. Kentucky is last, last in the SEC defending the three. Teams shoot very well against them from three-point range. Najee again. Look at Najee getting a little offense to his game now, sharing a post position with Maddox. 
We got Nazi. We got Najee. All these names. Where's Smith and Jones? <laughs> well, Mills has got it right now. You probably like that one. Yeah, we got Donovan coaching. That's nice and easy. And Smith coaching. That's out of my league when he gets more than one syllable. Nice pass. Nice. Beautiful pass to the baseline on the other side. Scored and bring Mills to the free throw line. Yeah. Mills really valuable coming off the bench, but a great look by Wayne Turner. Excellent penetration. Turner played so brilliantly last year. The second part of the year when he was inserted in the starting lineup by Rick Pitino. There he is under control. Under control. Has good poise. Now there he is looking diagonally. And there he drives it in and makes the good pass and a good catch for the score. Jason Williams, number 55, checks back in for the Gators after that play. And Jason brings 12 points with him. He's 5 of 5 from the field. He's hit both of his three-point shots in this game. He's played stellar defense, and Coach Donovan wants him back on the floor with 4.38 to go in the first half, and the Gators leading Kentucky 35-23 with Mills trying to complete the three-point play the old-fashioned way, and he does just that. Well, Billy Donovan's really concerned whether or not they can sustain this kind of effort and performance. It's not only the effort, it's the execution. See, here comes the half-court trap. Post somebody. There it is. Post somebody right to the middle. Well coached. Weeks missed. Rebound Muhammad. Weeks, number five in the nation, shooting the three. Turner right back, penetrates, quick move. No. Offensive putback blocked. And it's the Gators' ball as they come away. Brent Wright. And here comes Jason looking for daylight. Bounced it inside to Najee. No traveling call. They're going to call a jump ball. It goes over to Kentucky. See, watch Jason Williams right now. He's going to be a little shake and bake. He's going to give a little study. He's going to change direction, make the look, but he has a purpose. So many guys do that to be hot dog, to put a little mustard on it, but they don't get anywhere. He's doing it with a purpose and utilizing it perfectly. Kentucky favored by 14 here today. And Mills brings down the three. See, Mills, a valuable guy, Brad. Go to the bench. You bring in a kid that can shoot the ball, and it has awakened this crowd. They are arriving here at Rupp Arena. Oh, Bluegrass, here they come, baby. The Cats are back. Here comes Jason now. He'll try to do something to quiet him. Almost. He's got trouble behind him. Weeks now. 12 on the shot clock. Najee loses it. Kentucky ball. The crowd played a part there. The crowd has played a part there. They get a timeout. They need it, baby. The Wildcats cut the Florida lead to eight. Timeout. Payne Weber College Basketball on ABC Sports. Brought to you by Toyota Trucks. Tough, durable, every day. The U.S. Army. Be a part of the toughest, smartest Army in the world. Be all you can be. Gateway 2000 Direct Personal Computers. And Wendy's Big Bacon Classic. You can taste the difference fresh makes. Well, Florida once led by 15. But at the 740 mark, Kentucky took over. They have outscored the Gators 11-4, and Mills has scored eight of Kentucky's last 10 points. Take a look at Rick Pitino versus Tubby and utilizing the three. As you can see now, they don't utilize as many threes as they did in the past, but there's a reason for that. They're more balanced now. They got the inside attack with the big guys, McGlure and Nazi Muhammad on the inside. And look at today, four for seven for Florida, two for eight for Kentucky. Florida averaging 10 made per game, which leads the nation. Michael Bradley seeing his first playing time, number 33. He doesn't play very often. He's 6'10", a freshman on the floor for the Wildcats. Yeah, doesn't get a lot of PT playing time, but I think he's got a good future. Not a master Mills coming again, Dick. Got it. Another three. He can really flat out shoot it, and there's always room for a guy that can shoot the trifecta in today's day and age. That shot has revolutionized the game. Lead down to five. Gators need something positive to happen. They need somebody. To... And they get it from the baseline. Kenyon Weeks. Yeah, Weeks with that nice move on that baseline. Fifth in the nation shooting the three, but shows that he's got more parts to his game than just shooting a three. Muhammad going to go fouled, and he'll shoot a pair. 
They attack right on the inside, go right at the young fella, Christel, who doesn't have a lot of experience on the post. Look who's coming up halftime, John Saunders, our buddy. John will be on at the MCI halftime report. Christel played at the Matha High School for Morgan Wu. What a story that is. One of the great coaches in all of basketball of any level, Morgan Wu, and had a liver transplant. What an unbelievable story. And Brent, you talk about a superstar in teaching and coaching. Being around him, I learn so much whenever I get a chance to be near him. For the game, Saul Smith and Scott Padgett checking the line. Padgett and Smith. Return for the Wildcats. Mohammed really worked on his free throw shooting. Brent last year had a double double against Arizona, but he was 0 for 6 on a foul line in a game that went overtime in the NCAA championship, and he really has worked in that area. One of two this time, Dick. What's really great two about three for the game? He's a great young man, has tremendous work ethic. See right there, he used a lot of showtime, but didn't go anywhere. Didn't go anywhere with the ball. Bluff the three. See, he's got great handle. I mean, he can handle the rock. Well, he's got to shoot that. He had that. I'm impressed that he hasn't taken any bad shots here, Brent. I expected to see a guy with... Guns this one good. Hey, what range? Is that an area code jump shot? What range? I mean, that is downtown. He shot that from Churchill Downs, baby. He came right out of the gate down to Churchill Downs. Six of six from the floor, 15 points. He had a great start against Vanderbilt, had 15 at halftime, and sparked them to that big win at home, where they knocked down 15 threes. Billy Donovan is really creating excitement in the state of Florida. They're zoning now, with their 2 3 zone. Got a matchup on Mills, find him because he can shoot it. Four on the shot, got to hurry. Here comes Smith. Missed everything, and it goes over to Florida. Not the kind of execution they want. And look at this one from downtown Churchill Downs. I mean, that is an NBA trifecta. Look at Billy D. He was able to shoot the three when he played at Providence and sparked Rick Pitino to the final four in 87. Christel didn't play much, and he didn't get the handle on that pass. He didn't expect it from Jason that time, so it's a turnover for the Gators, and Kentucky comes right back down. Christel's from out of Clearwater, Florida. Good fake by Mills. He's been the hot hand. Misses this time. Paget skies, but Jason Williams comes up with the ball, pounds it on the left side. Nice routine no look pass. Dribble. Shannon corner missed shot. Wright's got a rebound and a foul goes against Kentucky. Number 21 in behind the man that time, and Mills picks up the personal. I'll tell you what's really impressive here today, Brent. I expected to see a kid with a lot of flash and a lot of pizzazz coming between the legs, around the back, making really bad passes, a kid taking a lot of bad shots. I've seen none of that. He has played a perfect game here in the first half. You could not play a better half than what this young man has done here tonight, this afternoon. Hope he didn't put the jinx on him. I know. Look at Bill. I mean, he's learned how to dress. Look, he never dressed like that when he was a kid at St. Agnes in Long Island. Unbelievable. Patino's rubbed off on him. Better than that, a lot of cash is rubbed off on him. <laughs> he's right at the line, missed the free throw. He just wants 10% of Spurrier's action. <laughs> Final 30 seconds. Florida's in good hands with Spuria, certainly in football, does a great job, and certainly now Smith on the inside. With Donovan. Kicks to Mills, the three, yes! Great decision to get in the hands of the right guy. That's so important in an offensive concept. Put the ball in the hands of the right people. Mills is keeping him in this game. With 13 points he is, 40-34, Jason kicks back corner. Fake by Shannon, and the second man came flying at the buzzer. Good defense that time by Mills. He recognized what was going to happen, and he got over in the corner. And Payne Weber, college basketball on ABC, returns after these messages and a word from our ABC station. Well, Kentucky 
cut into Florida's lead in the late going here in the first half. But we had quite a shootout developing between Jason Williams and uh, Cameron Mills of the Wildcats. And uh, it was something to see out there. I'll tell you one thing with Cameron Mills. He came up big with those 13 points. Very reminiscent of earlier this year. They were struggling against Indiana. And in the first half, he came off the bench and he knocked down four trifectors. Jason Williams was perfect. He didn't make a mistake. He made every shot. He passed the basketball. He was the 3M man. He was magical. He was a magician. He was marvelous. He was unbelievable in that first half. He was fabulous as well. <laughs> this was also a, a very special day here for many of us uh, who followed college basketball back in the 40s. There was a Fab Five before Michigan, the original Fab Five. And here they are, Wawa Jones, Cliff Barker, Ken Rollins, Ralph Beard, and the late Alex Groza were honored. There's Ralph being introduced to the crowd, one of the greats of the 40s. There were few players any better any place than Ralph. He was one of the ringleaders, and uh, before Sports Illustrated was sold to Time Incorporated, he was on the cover of the original Sports Illustrated, the first cover, if you will. Adolf Rupp, of course, the great coach, this team winning a national championship. Then they joined with Phillips 66 to win the Olympic gold medal, and this is the team they put the show on the road here. Dick, and now what about our game? Well, we take a look right here as we look at Mr. Williams. It was the Williams show in the first half. It was showtime. He did a great job shooting the long range J. He did a super job passing the ball. But Cameron Mills was the answer for Kentucky. He came off the bench and was absolutely brilliant. You got to have those people off the bench. Look at Mills squaring his body, knocking it down, just like he did for Rick Pitino last year in the run for the NCAA title. Also, the late Alex Groza, they say, was phenomenal when he played here in that team in 48, Brent. You mentioned Mills, Dick, and over the last six minutes of the half, he scored 14 of the final 17 points by the Wildcats. Jason Williams kicks it back out off the penetrating move, and they start the second half with the three off the penetration by Jason. I tell you, he created that opportunity. He was the three-man D-man who drove. He was able to drive with that basketball and dish it off for the open shot. Did a tremendous draw. Five draw and dish to rock. He can do that as well as anybody. I'll tell you, I'm so impressed with him here. Look at the stats right here. The rebounding is the big one, the gateway stats. As we look at the rebounding totals, Florida out-rebounds Kentucky. Florida 11th in the conference in rebounding. Kentucky is third in the nation in rebounding margin. And there they are right now. They neutralize them on the glass. So after the foul against the Gators, it'll be Kentucky ball out of bounds. Got a fresh 35 on the shot clock. Didn't get the bounce this time. Evans digs it out and puts it back. No, taps it in this time. I'll tell you one thing. Evans comes off the bench, and what a spark he is. He's almost like a starter. Really one of those roll aid specials. A guy that steps in and gives you great productivity. Very athletic, number 14. Santa trying to match up perimeter defense. So important against Florida, who can shoot the three, Brent. The question is, can they sustain that great first half performance where they graded out to an A, really? They were brilliant in that first half, Florida. Shannon off the dribble with five on the shot. It's Jason's ball now. It's his game. Got it again. He's still perfect. I'll tell you one thing. He's playing a Bo Derrick. He's a perfect 10. I mean, he's a Bo Derrick out here today. 45-36. Turner penetrates. Answers the challenge of the other point guard. Miss on the shot. Bad pass, and Muhammad makes him pay for it. Nasi Muhammad on the inside. Very strong, physically good hands. Now the side match, there's his support, and the team's... Weak stand on himself right there. He knows that he made an error under the basket. 34. You're going to watch Weeksy throwing the ball in bounds under the other team's basket. That's a no-no. You don't want to do that unless you're aware where that ball's going to go. Four personals on Maddox, who sits. Shot blocker had five blocked shots against Vanderbilt. They blocked nine as a team. He had four against Florida State, so he can block shots. Good role player on the inside. Three-point play for Muhammad, and it's 45-39 off the mistake by the Gators. Jason beats the pressure with the dribble, kicks it back out to right, and now for the corner. Here's Weeks missing. Rebound, Kentucky. What a great job and executed offensively, though. They didn't get the score of a good ball reversal. 
shot and one and out and this time Weeks is fouled up over the back the foul is against Evans Ted, Ted Hillary with the call Evans, Evans there transfer as we said Manhattan transfer sounds like a singing group Dick but, why didn't he go to St. John's well you know he wanted to come here and play for Rick Pitino I was prior to Franny Frischella as well you mentioned St. John's they had that great run there and then yesterday let it slip away losing to Notre Dame at home I mean that's a bad loss you got to win that kind of game at home and yet they've really come so far the last two or three weeks Frank Frischel I have no doubt he'll get it done there at St. John right one of the big men handling the ball and uh, not too bad with the dribble but I think I'd want that ball in Jason's hands as quickly as you can get it there exactly and spread out get some spacing because against Kentucky if you don't get spacing they'll trap see right here's the trap there it is Back now to right. Penetrates, kicks Shannon. Here it comes. No. Tap nice in. Tip. Great tip. I think it was Weeks. It was Weeks, and it's 10 points on the game for Weeks. You know, they're really beating them on the glass right now. That tells me they're just playing a little bit more aggressively than Kentucky. Shepard going to get the roll. And Shepard does get the roll. And the roll seems to always come this way at Kentucky at Rupp. It's a six-point Gator lead after the field goal as Shepard steps up to the free throw line. I'll tell you, they love their Kentucky Cats here. As you see this awareness, there's the reversal. Now we kick it out. See the good awareness? Got to knock that down, but then he comes up short with it, but there's a good execution. There's the tip. Three quick team fouls on the Gators. Only one on Kentucky here in the early minutes of the second half. Shepard's the kind of guy that can break out with the three. He's been quiet today from three-point range. Extending the defense against Williams. He handles with such poise. He's so cocky with that basketball. Five-second violation, though. They nail him. Forced him into the turnover. Yes, sir. He's got to be aware. Time and score. See, those are areas he's got to really work on. The other aspects of the game, time, score, decision-making, and those things come with experience. Remember, he hasn't played a whole lot of competitive basketball after sitting out. Did you look at the turnover rate? Equal. Nine to eight. No big margin. A zoning. Shepard could be a factor in the zone. Turner fires a three. It's good. And now it's a two-point Gator lead. I'll tell you, it's great to see kids improve. A kid like Wayne Turner was an absolute nightmare shooting the basketball. But with work, he's made himself at least respectable from the perimeter. He's got to watch that five-second ball. You can't bang that ball to the back like you do, like you did last year. That new rule takes a little effect, takes the ball out of his hands. I think during the timeout, he was going to talk with you rather than Coach Donovan. Uh -huh. Now he goes on over. We'll remind you next Sunday, the Payne Weber College basketball lineup has the top-ranked team in the country, Duke, headed to North Carolina State. We'll also cover UMass at Xavier, Oklahoma at Texas, regional coverage all next Sunday here on ABC. You know, you and I were talking about North Carolina and Duke, how the next game after that game could become so dangerous. Duke, after the North Carolina game, has got to go to NC State and Raleigh after that emotional battle next Thursday where it's number one against number two. It's a special, special night in college hoops next week on Tobacco Road as you look at the backcourt combo today. Wow, 71% of all the points and assists today produced by that backcourt, mostly out of this guy right here with the rock in his hands. Big moments now, lead down to two points. Right penetrates, comes to the glass, no. Rebound, gets it back. Stays with it underneath, comes back, rejected. Muhammad, here comes Jason. Pass to right, it's been basically a two-man game, and now Shannon will take part. Shannon can drive, he's a driver. Right, very active. They get it now to Weeks. Got the roll. He's That's got 12 that. points now for Kenyon Weeks. And good patience right there. A lot of poise, patience, didn't take a bad shot. And Weeks, an excellent shooter. The lead is four. Evans partially blocked. Gators ball. Great defense that time by Weeks. Lead pass underneath. Yes, for Wright. What a great pass. Good catch by Wright. But he throws that overhead pass. What style. What pizzazz. What flash he has, Jason Williams. Lead was down to two, and now it's back to six. Back-to-back -back Gator field goals here in Lexington. Muhammad loses it. Weeks on the turnover, and the Gators will come back down again. And here's Jason pushing it. <laughs> what a Great show. pass inside. Oh, what a pass, baby. But Kentucky gets it back. They couldn't take advantage. There was a whistle. They stepped out of bounds. You got to catch stepped that. Stepped out of bounds. They've turned it back over. 
Would have been a great moment here for the Gators. Got to come right back up with that deuce. Timeout, 51-45. Payne Weber College Basketball on ABC Sports. Brought to you by MCI Five Cent Sundays. Pay the least on the day you call the most. The U.S. Army. Be a part of the toughest, smartest Army in the world. Be all you can be. Volvo. Volvo reminds you to drive safely. And First Plus Financial. At First Plus, we're working first for you. Well, defense basically is hard work, and today Florida making Kentucky work. They have held the Wildcats to 46% from the field, while they have shot 51%. And you can see the turnovers they have forced, although the Wildcats are starting to battle back in that category. Inbounds pass comes to Weeks from Jason Williams now for the Gators. I'll tell you one thing about Tubby Smith's club, though, Brent. They've been sensational all year in the last four minutes when it's winning time. Hey, how's this for a guy thinking that you can play? Sam Bowie is doing the games on radio. Just yelled at me during the break. He said, Williams is the best I've seen here this year on a perimeter. One and out. Rebound Turner. And you remember Sam Bowie. He was the guy taken by. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Explain it, Mr. Musburger. <laughs> nice one to Shepard for the field goal. And Jeff Shepard with his third field goal of the game. And, of course, Bowie, one of two players selected ahead of the legend. Michael Jordan Bowie going out west to Portland and it was Akeem Olajuwon going to Houston before the Bulls took the greatest who I ever watched play the game in the NBA let me tell you Michael Jordan the greatest ever to lace him up but in fairness to Sam Bowie had a lot of injuries in his career was a solid player but certainly no one can compare to Michael Jordan but just a great guy doing radio now here for Jason time. misses off to the right and Stolt yanks it away now Dan Williams will give it back to Jason on a quick penetrating move. Weeks open from the corner, and he hits a three. I'll tell you, created again by Mr. Williams' great passing ability. We're seeing a star being born here today. I remember seeing a coming out party of Shaquille O'Neal. Shaq taking it to the rack when he took on Arizona. Offensive rebound by Patrick. Where have you been, Scotty? Where have you been, Scotty? We haven't called your name all day, Mr. Padgett. Where have you been? Stoke can shoot it now if he can get a look. Comes to the glass instead. Has it stripped loose on the floor. Still loose Kentucky basketball. And finally there's a whistle and a foul is going to be called against Nadja. I'll tell you, Weeks amazes me. In the SEC, he's shooting 20 for 32 as you look at Sam Bowie. Just a great guy. I tried to recruit him for Detroit. Could compete with the Cats in Kentucky. Now look at his passing now. Great look. Here's Padgett with a good no look. At I tell you, that's a nice play right there. And there's Williams penetrating. And he kicks out. Look what comes up there. Nothing but nylon. Tickle the twine. Yes, sir. Created by the passing wizardry of Jason Williams. 54-49. The Gators here at the 13-27 mark of regulation. They don't want to go away, do they? They don't want to go away, Brett. Hanging in tough. Hanging in defensively. Really challenging. Playing with a lot of energy. Shepard gives it up. McGlure. Knocked away. How did he miss that one? Yeah, Jamal McGlure from out of Canada. He's a Canadian superstar, just like John Saunders. A Canadian superstar. Jamal McGlure had a 17-16 game this year against Missouri. 11 big points in the last game off the bench against Vanderbilt. He can shoot another it. three for weeks. Back to back now. He just said, Brand, he's 20 for 32 coming into this game in the SEC. He can flat out shoot the rock. Shepard misses. Najee yanks down the rebound. 57-49. And just as Dick pointed out a short time ago, Gators won't go away. Shannon misses. Weak skies. And ball knocked out of bounds and hit last by Kentucky. Not a good shot right there by Eddie Shannon. You don't want that shot. Najee's done a good job. Look at the reigning threes today. Only seven teams in the history of over 10. And right now, you take a look at this club here. Florida's doing it. Marshall did it under Billy Donovan. He learned well from Mr. Patino. He's got eight of them today. Weeks foul. He'll shoot a pair. You know, with Weeks, what impresses me, he's more than just a three-point shooter. He's a guy that's very active, very aggressive at 6'4". Well, if Weeks keeps it up and Jason Williams runs the floor, 
Donovan just needs one more player to step up offensively, and he's going to make this tough the rest of the way because Weeks is playing very well. And I can hear the cry down here in Gatorland. Wait till next year, baby, when they all arrive. Michael Miller, Teddy Dupay, Ladarius Halton, and that whole gang, Robinson and Haslam. Look at Donovan, the student. Look, he's feeling good right now. See, he's alert. He's on a bench. He's not pouting. He's not sulking. He's active. He says, see, coach, I learned my lesson. I'm not going to get suspended anymore, coach. The lead is 10. Wildcats come back down with 12 18 of regulation. Turner taps it into the corner. Padgett will give it back to him. Got to get into the gap. Got to get Padgett some looks. Well, Mills was the hot hand. He's handling yep. the ball number 21. He had 14 first half points. They could use his offense again. He's going to get it back, tap it over to Turner. Padgett bluffs three, nine on the shot now. Good pass. Open the glory. He'll put this one away. Great passer, Scott Padgett, for a big player. Made that nice diagonal pass. Good look at the look by Scott Padgett. There's a reason they've only lost two games. They're very unselfish. They play team oriented basketball, Kentucky. And have been able to come from behind. Lead is eight. Weeks attacks again off the side of the glass. Forced one, but Wright gets it back. Rebounding has been the key here today. We can talk all we want about the three-point shot. Stolt over the top for the three. He's got it. I tell you, Greg Stolt, he can flat out shoot it. How well? He's seventh in the nation shooting the trifecta. And that's an 11-point Gator lead again. See, he got suspended for that all shoot game. Were they would have won that game, Florida. Mills back, and now he brings Rain his first field goal of the second half. That's 17 points for Cameron Mills with four threes for Kentucky. I tell you, he knocked four in a row down against Indiana, or they don't win that game against the Hoosiers. Cameron Mills is a guy that's been able to do that throughout his career. Been quiet this year. Stolt again, oh, yes, and he's sir. got one that's three. He says, anything you can do, I can do better, baby. Anything you can do, I can do better for my guy, Billy D. Up 11 now at the 1040 mark. Wow, what a shootout. Three's a reigning supreme here in Rupp Arena. This is fun, Brent. Wow, we get paid for this. This is fun. Evans, no. Mills inside. Ah. Missed. And the whistle foul called against the Gators. And so he will be at the free throw line shooting. You know, Kentucky with their two losses lost that game to Louisville right here. Shocked everyone because Louisville had come in here losing six out of seven. And the bottom line is right now they lost to Arizona early, but as you said, it went nine in a row, Tommy Ball executing, but they're on a ropes right now against Florida. Hey, ready for this for Mills? Has not missed. I don't want me here. Has not missed a free throw this year? You can't hear me, can you, Brent? No, I don't think so. Has not missed a free throw? You know what I'm I should do golf and I should do tennis. Right now, I'm dead lying off. Wow, that'd be great. You doing a golf tournament does tickle my imagination. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this here. What a performance. He walked in with us today outside, and he was telling us about how he doesn't get any play in time, and basically he understands that because the kids are playing well, but he's getting a lot of play in time today. It's 65-56, but it's the underdog Florida Gators who are ahead. It's raining in the land of the bluegrass, but it's raining at threes. Ten of 18, <laughs> Mr. Vital, the Florida Gators. But I'll tell you, I'm impressed with their work rebounding. They were supposed to come in, in here and be dominated on the glass. That hasn't turned out. Well, you know, they've been such a great rebounding team all year in Kentucky. They've only been out rebounded once was against Vanderbilt. As we look here at shot selection, the two-point shot versus the three. Right on target, making 10 so far for Florida. And that's why they are right now the leading three-point shooting producing team in the nation. Look at the rebounding. Florida has out-rebounded Kentucky, and that's one word, hustle. They are flat out, I believe today, they have out-hustled at this point Kentucky, and that's usually a no-no, especially here. But Kentucky has been out-hustled on their floor. Jason Williams back on the floor for Coach Donovan, who's up in front of that Gator bench, 20 for Weeks, 15 for Williams. Williams has missed only one shot. Dan Williams also on the floor right, and this is Shannon, number three, from the corner. Well, two different personalities in these clubs, though, Brent. You have one team that has won all the close games, basically, in Kentucky, and Billy Donovan's club, who just recently blew a 12-point lead against South Carolina, they've had trouble holding on to leads. So let's see what happens with those Jekyll and Hyde personalities. Nice kick out to Dan Williams in and out. 
I mean, he can get shots for you. I can see why all the players like playing with him. Billy Donovan told me the players really enjoy playing with them because they know they'll get touches if they're open. Evans wanted it inside. They didn't get it to him on the entry pass. Muhammad was open. They missed him on the inside. Off to the left. Tapped into Williams' hands. And now Jason comes down and eyes the floor. He'll give it to Shannon. Bounce corner. Decision making. Manage that clock. Take some time off. Shot decisions are so important. Bad pass on the turnover. Jason gives it back to Kentucky. See, that's what he's capable of. And today, we got to give the kid his due. He hasn't made those bad decisions. Against Florida State, they lose by a deuce, and he has 12 turnovers. You can't win if your point guard turns it over 12 times in a two-point game. But today, that's not been there, Brad. He's been solid. Nine minutes, 65-56, Florida. Patience right now. The soul. Mills nails another three. I don't understand that defensively, Brent. I have a tough time comprehending that. He's the hot guy on the floor, and you got to find him and match up and get in his face. You can't let him square and get the look for the three. A career game for Cameron Mills here. He had not played much for the Wildcats this year, but number 21 off the bench. They're zoning now. They should be able to get in a gap and get an open shot against that zone. They should get that open three. There it is. They get it. And he makes it. Shannon, his first three for Eddie Shannon. That was execution, Brent. Execution 101 on how to attack a zone. Ball movement, get good player movement, reverse the basketball, square up on the line, and knock it down. Florida, a 14-point underdog. Wow. Leading 68-59 with eight minutes to go at the Rupp Arena. And they want to get beat on a day they honor the 1948 team here, the 50th year anniversary. They got trouble with passes like that, my friend. Shannon's got it on the turn. Five on one. Oh, all Five numbers. On one. Oh, blue. Shannon oh, should have no, given no, it up. No, 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 no. Got to give it up in that yes, situation. Sir. He had five on one. Wow. Oh, and a compound that he may have injured a leg. He had nothing but blue coming down the floor with him that time. That's what Billy Donovan's talking to his staff about. We got a five on one. We got five against one, baby. You don't have to be a mathematical genius to know you got the odds here. Come on, Eddie. You're too experienced, Eddie. Yes. Here it is, five on one. I know he's got great speed. He thought he could beat him to the basket. He thought he had the lane, but you're right. He should have given a rock up. Lucky he got fouled. And I was about to say, Dick, got a huge break in here and drawn the foul on that drive. I want to tell you. Yeah, could have been a charge. You bet it could have been. He had a great performance, though, against Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt's a club that's still hanging around. Could get a chance for the NCAA berth this year in this SEC. I like the SEC this year. I think the ACC is the best conference in basketball this year. SEC number two. At least he gets one out of two in that sequence. So we're going to take a break. 7.44 to go. Florida 69, Kentucky 59. Stay tuned. Well, the last time Florida won here in Lexington, 1989. And, Dick, you were there the last time they won the game in Gainesville. Well, beating the Wildcats. Gainesville. Yeah, January 18th, 1994. They've lost 10 in a row since then. And unless Kentucky laces them up now and really steps up its energy, they are not leaving this building with a W today. Mills comes back, and yes, 22 points. Make it 25. Again, I ask one simple question. Why isn't someone matching up with this kid who is on fire, doing an unbelievable job, trying to carry this club to the winner's circle here at Rupp? Cameron's career high here this afternoon. I've seen shooting the exhibitions by him in the past. He can shoot it. A good screen freedom in that sequence. Inside of 10 now on the shot clock for the Gators. Shannon seal up here. Jason's got to hurry. He's got five seconds. He's got to go to work now. One on one off the dribble. Here's the shot. Yes. I'll tell you, it's he, a three. He can flat out change direction with that little dribble move. That's unbelievable. His front change. Good ball control. Executes and knocks down a big trifecta. That was huge. 20 for Jason Williams. Puts the lead back at 10. 641 to go. 
I tell you, he'll break you down and he'll become the bomb, baby. As they call him in the neighborhood, he is the bomb. Bad pass into Jason's hands on the turnover. Those quick hands again, and now Jason brings it down. And if he can get his teammates involved in underneath here. I'll tell you one thing, they're going to have a tough time holding on, Florida, because these kids from Kentucky will come after you, and they're stepping it up right now. Inside of 20 seconds on the shot clock, and Jason wants Parker to get in underneath the glass with Najee. Space right. Oh, look at now this. Now we're back down to 10. He's going one on one. He's got to watch the five second count, though. He's got to watch that count. Coming up, pass it over to Shannon. Four on the shot. Left baseline. Shannon Glass, no. Tap back. Jason's got it. It's five on four as he comes up, and Shepard collides with him and fouls him. I'll tell you what could really be big in this game, Brent. Jason Williams is the premier, premier free throw shooter in the league. As you see, Cameron Mills getting free off a screen to knock down the trifecta. And then, look, he's going to break you down. He's going to break you down, as they say on a the yard. They say, come on, let me see if he gets some shake and bacon. He can break me down. Let me see if he has some game. He's got game, baby. You the man. You Five. the man. Five team fouls on Florida and four on Kentucky. So they were not yet in the penalty, and they got the ball out of bounds. And now the Gators will see what they can do. Remember, they're up by 10 right now. Five and a half minutes to go. Plenty of time. They can't panic. Shannon with a great spin move. Make it 12. Oh, what a move. I'll tell you, he's break you down right there. What an explosion to the goal. He looked like a running back. One of those running backs they have in Florida. Shepard fires three short. One and out. Gators have it. Najee tied up underneath. Jump ball. And the possession arrow favors the Wildcats. Got to take a look at Eddie Shannon. Look at his superb quickness. Look at his little spin. A little 360. Take it to the goal. Eddie Shannon. A little showtime for the people in Gatorland. That's a beautiful campus down in Gainesville as well. I love that place. Great school, my friend. Oh, yes, it is. 5-14 to go. 74-62. 12-point lead. What a great performance we're watching today by these kids from Florida. Now Edwards will try to penetrate off the dribble and pull it up. One and out. I'll tell you, what a rebounded job they are doing. They are really... The stick. Yes, sir. They're taking the glass away from Kentucky. Jason will bring it back. Now he'll take seconds off the clock. When you've got a guard like that, you can start to milk the clock if he knows exactly what to do. And they've been bringing it down close to 10. Blocking foul against Kentucky. Evans tried to draw the charge here in I thought front he of did. the Florida bench. I thought he took an elbow. I thought he took some contact. I think that they got away with one here, Florida. I thought they got away with one right there. I think the angle might have blocked Hess, the official. 4.46 to go, and it's the Gators by 12. They are a 14-point underdog here today. And we're seeing a heck of an officiated game. I mean, we really are today. These three guys are doing one heck of a job, Manji, Hess, and Hillary. Agreed with that. Good spacing, so important to an offensive concept. Eliminate the traps. Oh, what a Knocked good trip. Away. And here comes yes, Evans. Sir. Good the night. Transfer from oh! No, he missed the shot. Oh! Instead of slamming it home, he blew the layup. And Shannon comes back, and the Gators dodge a bullet. That may be symbolic. And the foul goes against Kentucky. I think he felt the guy coming from behind, and he lost his rhythm to the basket. Tommy, who did a great job at Georgia, took him to the NCAA two years in a row. Well, tonight on ABC, the world premiere of a movie that uh, Entertainment Weekly is calling Remarkable. This is a great story, if you like action. The Taking of Pelham, 1-2-3. They'll start that at 9 Eastern time. I think you'll enjoy that one. Deep pass now for Wright. Big fella. They're going to get him off the ball sooner or later. Donovan's got to get Evan. him off the dribble. Also, Evans is the kind of guy that can create some turnovers. Look at Bill. He's sweating down here. They haven't won the last 10 times against Kentucky. This would be huge for the Gator program. I'll tell you what else is going on here, Dick. These youngsters in Gainesville, they've been reading the papers. They've been seeing all the headlines about this great recruiting class. They're saying, wait a minute. we got some other youngsters that are going to play next year. We can play this game, too. And here comes Jason now over to the left-hand side. He's cut off. 17-shot pull-up. No, didn't get the bounce, put back, no. 
They are beating Kentucky to the oh, glass. Unbelievable what they're doing to him on the glass. That right is, dribbles it out. That is just simple hustle. That's being aggressive. One of the keys of being aggressive is getting to the offensive boards. Dick, that was almost better than the field goal. You get a fresh 35, you're exactly. up by 12. Why not? Exactly. Get some time off that clock. Put it in his hands. He's a great free throw shooter. He leads the SEC at 89% this kid on a free throw line. Jason Williams. And they do not want to put him there, and there's right off that dribble. It's dangerous coming down the baseline. <laughs> It's going to go against Kentucky. I'll tell you, you saw an example of you just a lot of that clock, got it down to six seconds. There's trouble here right now on the floor. There's no doubt about it. I mean, this is not yesterday where we saw that great spurt ability, as Clark Kellogg would say, when we talk about, and you look at, for example, North Carolina coming back against Wake Forest. Well, Dick, one of the things Tubby does not have, and you talked about it, we've shown the graphic with all the first-round draft choices. No he does not have a go-to star. Okay. Somebody to give you a Antoine Jameson yesterday was magnificent down the stretch for the Tar Heels along with Vince Carter. Exactly. You have that one major player. That's a great point, Brent. I really felt that that's why I think Tubby's done such a great job with this team. They don't have the personnel they've had in the past. They're going to get it in because we talk about Florida's recruiting class. Tayshawn Prince coming here next year. Kamara, a 6'11 shot blocker from Oak Hill. J.B. Blevins, a kid Desmond Allison. Well, the Gators committed a foul. 3-12 remaining. We got a timeout. Florida up 12. Payne Weber College Basketball, and it's a dandy. And if you can't get enough of college hoops on ESPN, Big Monday, Villanova, Connecticut, Big East, Texas, Texas A&M, Big 12 follows that. And then at midnight, Fresno State against a tough Hawaii team. And in this game here with Florida, 3-12 away, from perhaps the biggest win of the Donovan era. Keep one thing in mind, Kentucky led once. That was 2-0 on Muhammad's field goal. With 30 seconds into the game, Jason Williams and the Gators took over, and they have led it ever since. They have blazed away at 50% from the field. They've hit 57% of their threes. They have hit 12 threes, and they have been tough on the glass. They yeah, really have. Look at the offensive rebound in totals. I think he got after them because in their last game, they got a rebound at 45 to 23 by South Carolina. Eddie Fogler's club. Another miracle finish for South Carolina. Oh, what a miracle finish. Eddie Fogler does a great job on that sideline. He's got a bunch of gutty kids down 25. Come back and beat a very good, I mean, a very good Cincinnati team. Look at Billy Donovan. I mean, these are going to be the longest three minutes as a coach. He can't rid, he can't wait to try and get this W. And the first call he'll make, he'll call up Mr. Patino. He said, Rick, you won't believe how well we played, Rick. Smith misses. He hasn't scored yet today and off the missed free throw. You know, the only Kentucky points in the last five and a half minutes, Dick, that was that Mills three-pointer. That's five minutes wow. they've gone with one three-point field goal with this team. That's hard to believe. That's hard to believe. No question about it. And now they put Williams on a free throw line. As you look at the Pro Bowl column coming up next. Florida's last win in Lexington, February 11th, 1989, 59-53. That was... Of course, Eddie Sutton's last season here in the land of the bluegrass. Leading, a, leading free throw shooter in the SEC gets the bounce to go his way. What a combination. He and Randy Moss must have been at DuPont High School down at Bell, West Virginia. What a star he's going to be in the NFL, Mr. Moss. 21. Oh, he and up it's empty. only 50% as he misses that free throw. Now there's three minutes, still time. Kentucky, though, cannot waste time, and they need some shooting. Shepard's been really quiet today. They've done a great job on Shepard taking away taking any Taking off too much time on the clock. Mills fires three. It's up there oh, again. Baby. 28. What a performance off the bench. I'll tell you, he's been flat out super. Tubby Smith, this kid has really been unbelievable for Tubby. Tubby's club has been really tough down the stretch. I know somebody that's awfully sad right about now, Deanna Sally, who took us around at the hotel. She said, the reason I love Kentucky basketball, we win so much. As we look at him on the little curl move, off the nice curl move, comes off that screen. Now watch him, there's the curl move, comes off the screen, a little down screen, and Mills on fire. He's gonna earn a lot more PT. After hitting seven of 10 from three-point land, regardless of what happens in the outcome, it's still 247, plenty of time, 10-point lead for the Gators. Well, the reason they talk about they win so much right now, they're the winning this program in all of basketball. When you talk college basketball, 17 and 1,704 Ws, the Pro Bowl calling up, coming up next. 
Number two is North Carolina, and number three is Kansas. Jason on the dribble, trying to get back on that free throw line, and they'll foul double O. They'll put Brent Wright on the line. Free throw shooting, as we talk about, so often, so vital when you get down the stretch, making those free throws. As you look right here at that bench, Utah marching on right now against New Mexico. I thought, I'll tell you, that's a great win if they hold on for Rick Majerus. I thought they would be in trouble going down to Albuquerque today. That club playing without Keith Van Hoor has been really special under Mr. Majerus. The miss, Kentucky basketball. The foul pays a dividend, but now can they add to it with a quick field goal here? Coming down to two and a half minutes now. Time starting to be precious for the Wildcats. That's the guy that's got to shoot it. Shepard misses, and one and out. Wright wraps up the rebound. They foul him again. But a call a jump ball, alternate possession. Oh, goes wow. To Florida. They were over the back on him. He can't believe he didn't get the foul call. He's talking beyond the end line with Hess. But at least he got the ball. It could have been a disaster if the arrow was pointing the other way. That would have been totally unfair. This will be a full timeout. Shepard has really been kept under control. Shepard has really had no really good looks at that three-point line. 227. Gators up 75-65. Payne Weber College Basketball on ABC and Raycom Sports. Brought to you by Payne Weber. When you invest with Payne Weber, you invest with more intelligence. Wheaties, the breakfast of champions. Head and shoulders, because great hair can have flakes. And priority mail from the U.S. Postal Service. Seventy-five, sixty-five, Florida with the basketball and the lead 226 to go if you're wondering about free throws for the game the Gators are 9 of 15 but they have missed four of their last seven so Kentucky 10 of 15 and the Wildcats obviously are going to try to put them on the line with that 10 point lead right now Jason Williams as Dick has told you an outstanding free throw shooter keeps it on the dribble they get it over to right they're perfectly satisfied to let him go up and shoot free throws Dick I'm Sort of surprised that Donovan doesn't put Weeks back there in the backcourt and let him work his way up to the free throw line. He's been a, such an excellent shooter today. I'll tell you, Weeks has had a heck of a game. He had 22 against Arkansas earlier this year and 21 off the bench against Georgia. Had a solid freshman year last year from out of Fork Union Military Academy. I believe Donovan's no high on this freshman year right on a free throw line. He thinks he's multidimensional, can play in many different parts of the game. I think he's got a good future. Comes out of Miami senior high. But they were 36 and one last year. Won the state championship back to back. And of course, we'll have time for the Army postgame report. Wright hits a big free throw for the Gators. 76 65 comes back with the second one's perfect. So I was wrong. No wonder that <laughs> keeps it back there. See, that's why you're sitting here. It's better right. next to Billy Donovan. Right. There's a lot more about these guys than I do. Wow. Turn it with penetration. He's a good Throw player. it up. No, he waves it off. Waves the basket off. Good call by Manji. He fouled him prior to the release of the basketball in the NBA. That, that will be continuation and count. Tubby Smith knows that his club's now going to go back to the drawing board if they can't come back and win this game. The one thing about Kentucky, they're going to draw everybody's best effort. Everybody is almost like we talk about in football with Notre Dame. You talk about that in Carolina and Duke and certainly Kentucky and Kansas. They take everybody's best hit. You don't mind if I say Florida and Florida State in football, too, don't you? Yeah, well, I, I, you can throw them in there. Florida State had a tough loss yesterday. Seth Greenberg, remember that program, South Florida, on the move. Signed some great players, getting Altron Jackson from out of Sarasota, B.B. Walden. Seth Greenberg with a big win over the ACC. Makes his free throws. It's 10 again to 11. So to certainly plenty of time left here. C.M. Newton, certainly one of the MVPs right here at Kentucky, having the foresight to hire Tubby Smith immediately after the departure of Rick Pitino. They get into Jason's hands, oh. and oh, I'll tell you, they're lucky. Still almost didn't see it and almost turned it over, and the foul comes against Kentucky. Oh, were they lucky on that one. Stolt was not looking. And they're also very lucky because he's an outstanding, outstanding free throw shooter. See, he's not looking. First thing you've got to learn as a basketball player is you're coming up down the court, you look over that shoulder, that inside shoulder to have vision of the basketball. But he can make free throws. Great student, all academic. 
Oh, and he misses. We put the heat on him. How many times does that happen? Stolt with three trays today, and he has missed his first free throw, so he'll come back here now. 208. He's an 80 plus free throw shooter. They survive again, go 0 for 2. And there may have been a lane violation. Yes, there was. Lane violation is going to be called on Allen Edwards. He's an 84 percent free throw shooter. Allen Edwards has really been quiet, but so has Shepard. Ready for this? Jeff Shepard is 0 for 4 from three point range. Well, they got the chance and made the most of it. So another Kentucky mistake, and they pay for it. 78 67. Clock winds down toward two minutes now, and Paget will fire the three. Good, right on the money. Well, he's got to get some looks. I'm surprised he hasn't squared his body and taken some looks at that three-point line here today. The lead is eight, 78 to 70, 157 remaining. I'll tell you, Brad, there have been a lot of miracle finishes in college basketball right here as well. Kentucky's coming off that emotional win over Vanderbilt at the buzzer. Good call by Brad Nestler and Larry Conley in that game. That shot was definitely off in time. But if they're going to get back and pull a miracle here, it would have to be somehow with some aggressive defensive play. Tough to pressure this guy, too. Jason Williams gets the rock in his hands. Very tough to press him. So here's Shannon. Go to full court trap. Pass back. They've got the it. Shepard goes. 78-72 now. Got to happen Jason. with the defense. Brings it up. Defense made it happen. We talked about how you got to be aggressive on a defensive end. They forced the trap, get the turnover, and get the conversion. Lackadaisical. Look at his pass, Brent. Just flip it in. Great effort by Edwards. Good look. Good anticipation. And Shepard scores. Now Jason Williams. Number one. Biggest free throws, throws of the game right here. Number one in the conference. 22 points. Cold-blooded right now. This guy can shoot. Look at the fire in him, Billy Donovan. 1987 Final Four when Indiana won it. He was there with Providence and Rick Pitino. That was the first year you could shoot the threes. Got it. 23 points for Jason Williams and the time down to 148. Kentucky hurrying, trailing by eight. You don't want to foul. You don't want to stop the clock. So if you're Florida, you want to play just good, solid defense. Block out and rebound on a missed shot. Shepard fires three. No. Rebound, Florida. Jason Williams has got it. Collides and they put charges called. Charging call and it was a good call. An excellent call, no doubt about it. He lost his vision. Billy Donovan hanging on, hanging on. Now watch right here. He's going to spin to the basket. The head is down, and there's the contact on Cameron Mills. Cameron Mills is doing it all today, Brent. Doing it all. Now down eight with 1.32 to go. 22nd timeout called by the Gators. Donovan will huddle them. Remember, Florida has not beaten Kentucky since 1994 on January 18th. They've got 0 for 10, baby, against the Kentucky Wildcats. Don't have to feel the shame about that. A lot of teams have gone 0 for 10 against the Cats. A minute and a half away. See, right now, Billy Donovan showing a lot of emotion on that sideline. But time and score is so important. Your players have to understand how to play the game late in the game when strategy becomes so important. Putting the ball in the right hands of the right people. Look at his tradition. Look at that tradition, Brent. Look at that tradition. Those banners flying high. Mills again, no. Williams taps it, and there's a whistle underneath. And a foul is going to go against the Wildcats. Yeah, they tried to make the call. Kentucky's players tried to make the call down there, but they're not going to fool this crew. This crew is too sharp, baby. College basketball never stops to amaze me. Who would have ever thought an Arizona State could beat a Stanford, especially after you would think they'd come in really hungry at Maples Pavilion. Earlier this year, Eastern Michigan beating Michigan. I don't think many people thought Florida can beat Kentucky on this floor. Now Weeks nails the free throw. And 21 points for Kenyon Weeks here today. I tell you, what a great performance. Just look at the reset right there. Do you see the bounce and the strut and the little glide and slide by Billy Donovan? I mean, he's starting to Back feel... Back to 10. 
He's starting to feel that W. He's getting all those quotes ready for that press conference. Remember, he and Tubby were assistants to Rick Pitino on the same staff. Down toward 120 now on a 10-point lead. Here's Mills going to fire again. Yes! He is on fire. 31 points for him today. And he gives him a life at the 119 mark. Somebody better call a fire chief and put out the fire, baby. He's burning the nets down. I mean, he's burning the nets down there for Tubby, but he's got to get some help from other people. Florida, 82. Kentucky, 75. I'm out. One nineteen to go. No 20-second timeouts left. One full timeout for each team. And the Gators clinging to that 82-75 lead. One nineteen to go. Cameron Mills, 8 of 12. Eight threes. The Kentucky record is 9 in a game, and that's set by Tony Delk. He's done a great job keeping in the game, but this guy right here, Jason Williams, if they win the game, he's the star of stars. Knocked away and out of bounds. See, if they'd have played with that kind of intensity and emotion and hustle for the entire game, as you look at Jason Williams' numbers, he set the tone in the first half. He is, I'll tell you what, the coming of a superstar right there. It's all in his hands how good he wants to be. Last timeout for the Gators has been called. It's a full, remember, no 20s left. 118, no time, runs off the clock. Back to Kentucky in just a moment, but first this update. Utah, 18-0 this season. They have yet to lose, but they are down with 14 seconds left, but they're at the line. We'll keep you up to date. Let's rejoin Brent and Dick. Wow. Certainly a big one. The only wow. unbeaten team left, the Utah team. And, of course, it appeared that they were going to walk away from New Mexico for a time today, and they have not. They were up nine. The last unbeaten team, as you look at the reset right here, no timeouts for the University of Florida, 120 for Kentucky. Last unbeaten They get team. it into Shannon, and he's no foul finally. They get the foul right there. Oh, no, he's going to step on the line. line at 115. Oh. oh, last unbeaten team was Indiana in 76, Brent. Wow, what a What turtle. a big call that was. No foul call inside. Oh, oh they missed the layoff. And the Gators, who have out-rebounded Kentucky here today, come up with perhaps the biggest of the game. 36 rebounds for Florida and 26 for Kentucky. Who would have believed this? Wow. Now take a look at the diagonal pass. You got to convert that. Got to use the glass backboard. Allen Edwards doesn't use the glass. There's the contact. And Williams, Dan Williams goes to the free throw line. He has not scored here today. He's a good shooter, though, Brent. That's his asset, shooting the basketball. I'll tell you one thing, the Kentucky kids have turned it up big time in the last three or four minutes. They're playing with a much more of a passion. That might have been the biggest moment in the game. Had they yeah, quickly big. hit the two and, you and the set two the press. Exactly. They were right back in it. He feels bad. Nobody feels worse than this kid. He's been a steady player throughout his career at Kentucky. In fact, last year had an injury to his foot that was really big and hurt them in the postseason where he would have been a valuable contributor. Clock down to 111. Dan Williams hits the first one. And now, down in Gainesville, I think it's fair to say you could start the celebration. With wow. 111 to go, it's 83 75. This is a huge turnaround. He misses the second one now. And Kentucky, they're going to have to hurry. They're going to have to fire the threes. Turner. Got a thought about getting over to Mills, and they were chasing Mills. And so it'll be Turner on a penetrating move short. Left in the game. And it goes over. Ball goes over, knocked out of bounds. I thought for a moment that Florida might have touched it last. Just inside of a minute now. 83-75, the Donovan era. They get it into Shannon's hands. Collision, offensive foul again on the baseline. They're doing everything they can to help Kentucky out to try and keep them in the game. And Kentucky doing a great job trying to sustain and survive here on their own floor, Brett. Florida, I'll tell you one thing. As you see the ball dumped inside, see Shannon right there. There's the contact, no doubt about the charge. I'll tell you, if they hold on and win this game, I wonder if Spurry and all the football guys will meet him at the airport and celebrate. Mills fires three. No. Cracked down by Kentucky. Time, no, down to 50 seconds. Over in the corner. Mills comes again for the ninth one. No, in and out. Knocked away. Florida ball. 44. 
five seconds, and Weeks is coming up to the free throw line. What a great performance today by the kids from Gatorland. Just a tremendous Weeks gets a big hog. The tattoos reign supreme here today. David Williams with two. Got you ask about the Florida football coaches? Yeah. Don't forget signing day is coming up Wednesday. They may be a little bit busy. They're busy? Right oh, wow. They're busy right now. I'll tell you, Spurry's got so many great players. Doesn't need any more. <laughs> <You're always. laughs> <laughs> Look at Billy Donovan. He's doing a dance on the sideline. He's styling. New Mexico upsets Utah. And so, uh, Mr. Vital, you said yesterday you thought it was going to happen in the pit, but you gave up here in the second half. You said you thought it was going to run the table. No, you got off your original no, pick. No. I can't believe it. No, I tell you the truth. Very you told me that yesterday. Let's give you full credit. You said they're going to have a lot of trouble in the pit. They had more than that. They lost it. I'll tell you, New Mexico, very good club. Good win for David Bliss, but Rick Majerus' kids. What a gallant effort. That's a tough place to play. They were up nine and let it slide. So those of you who watched Utah lose for the first time, you're watching a young man by the name of Kenyon Weeks at the free throw line for the Gators. And Super a solid. big upset unfolding here in Lexington, Kentucky. As Weeks now nine of nine. It's, it's a 10-point lead, 43. Florida is going to upset Kentucky. The Wildcats favored by 14, and they have fallen to Billy Donovan's young, hustling Florida Gator team. They this, have hit them on the glass. This is the win that can really get them over, that one big win that they've been searching for. To be able to hold on, sustain a lead. They've been letting leads slip away from them. They had the game against South Carolina. And then Antonio Grant tipped it in at the end. This is a big, big win for Florida basketball. Hey, don't forget this. In 1994, they were in the Final Four. And Alani Kruger, who's doing a heck of a job at Illinois. The crowd is stunned. The and crowd is stunned. Pass to Jason Williams. Some of the crowd of the faithful. It's starting to head now toward the exits. They certainly did not expect this here today. And Jason Williams, 23 points for the point guard. He'll step back up to the free throw line with 15.8. Donovan and the Gators are going home with a huge victory in the SEC as they leave. And you do not see this scene very often here on the rough. This is the first loss for this team in the calendar year 98. They had won nine in a row. They were beaten here on this floor by Louisville back in December. That too a shocking upset for this Kentucky Wildcat team. Ranked number seven when they came in. The power indexes had them even higher than that. And Jason comes back short on it. Gives it up to Kentucky. They'll bring it on down the floor now. But it is academic. Three. Bang the three with 10 seconds to go. 86-78. They'll call a timeout. Down eight, 10 seconds to go. I'll tell you one thing, Brent. When I look at my clubs for the final four, I see Kentucky a notch below those, those that I like because they lack the presence of that superstar. I love Duke, North Carolina, Kansas, and Arizona. I can't wait for Thursday night. I will crawl on my hands and knees from Sarasota to out there to Chapel Hill for that game. Well, let's send you to John Saunders for an update, John. Well, Brent, you have to give your partner the nod on this one. Dick Vitale predicted it yesterday, but he did not predict a finish like this one. Utah, New Mexico. The game is tied, and Andre Miller with five seconds left launches a three and surprises everyone on Utah. They bring it back down. Miller has the shot, but he gives it up to Lou Hansen, and Hansen's shot goes in, but it was after the buzzer. New Mexico hangs on for the 77-74 victory. Utah picks up its first loss of the season, 18-1, 6-1 in the conference. Back to Brent and Dick. All right, thank you, Brent. John, you know what's interesting, John and Dick, is we're talking about the upset here and the one there. It reminds me, Jimmy Valvano, the late great friend of ours, won his national championship out of the pit, and it was right here in the rough with Villanova. Upset Georgetown on what stands as one of the yep. greatest upsets in the history of the NCAA championship. 1983, game. five slamma jamma. Drexler, Olajuwon, and company go down to Jimmy V and his gang down there in a great, great moment. Then we had the upset here. Villanova. Massimino. Yeah, he pitched a perfect game to Don Larson. Coming to an end, and the Florida Gators have beaten the Kentucky Wildcats on their home floor. Final score, 86-78. Biggest win yet of the Donovan era. So for Dick Vitale, I'm Brent Musburger saying so long from Lexington. We hope you've enjoyed this upset. Let's send you to our colleague John Saunders in New York. John, take it away, my friend. From 
ABC's Wide World of Sports studio in New York. The U.S. Army Post Game Report, brought to you by the U.S. Army. Be a part of the toughest, smartest Army in the world. Be all you can be. Here now, John Saunders. And quite a day of college basketball here on ABC. One correction before we take you out to the Pro Bowl. It was Royce Olney that hit the winning shot for New Mexico as they come back and knock Utah from the ranks of the unbeaten tremendous game. But as I mentioned at the top of the hour, we'll be moving to Hawaii for the Pro Bowl. For more on that, let's join Al Michaels. Thank you, John. And it's a typical February 1st weather report that we bring to you from Honolulu. Temperature in the mid-80s is just a gorgeous day, and a capacity crowd will be looking on at Aloha Stadium for the annual Pro Bowl. The big stars out of the backfield for the NFC. Leading the way will be the great Barry Sanders of the Detroit Lions, who rushed for 2,053 yards. For the AFC, Terrell Davis, who last Sunday won the Super Bowl MVP award. Sanders, Davis, and all the stars coming your way from Honolulu, the Pro Bowl on ABC following basketball at 6 p.m. Eastern. All right, Al, we will see you in just about seven minutes' time. But right now, let's finish up with some college basketball. The game between New Mexico and Utah. Utah 18-0 coming into this game on the road at the pit. Very tough place to play. Some of you just saw this game, as a matter of fact. And if you did, you saw a great game. If you didn't, here is what you missed. Now, the time is winding down, and Royce Olney knocks down a three-pointer. They don't even work it down and look for the foul. And then back comes Utah. Miller passes up the shot, passes it. And the shot is knocked down, but not before time had expired. Only with 22 points, but none bigger than those last three. New Mexico knocks Utah from the ranks of the unbeaten, now 18-1, 6-1 in the WAC. Let's move along. Georgia Tech against the number one team in the nation, Duke. And Georgia Tech, no match for Duke. 90 to 69 the final. Rashawn McLeod with 23 points and eight rebounds. Trajan Langdon, Langdon rather, had 17 points. And on Thursday, number one Duke against number two North Carolina on ESPN2. That'll be a great one and a tremendous matchup. Kansas against Nebraska. In this one, Nebraska hung around for some time. Last three visits there, double-digit wins for Kansas. It's double-digit, but it was because of free throws at the end. 82 to 71. Kansas comes up with a victory. Paul Pierce, 27 points. Rafe LaFrance with 25 points. A game some of you saw here as well. Kentucky loses at home to Florida for the first time in six years. 86-78 the final. For Kentucky, Cameron Mills hit 28 points. That was a career high, but just not enough. Florida had 12 three-pointers in Rupp. That is a record for an opposing team. Stick around. We still have more to come on the Army Postgame Report.